Welcome to my Quizlet clone. So this was a group project. There were four of us on this project. Um, and what we decided to do was clone the popular study set or study aid site quizlet.com. Uh, my role was a front end developer. So this is a full stack uh, app with a React front end, Node back end, with a MongoDB or Mongo database. It was my first development in React and I really uh, enjoyed it. So let's take a look at the app. So if you'll notice, uh, if you go to quizlet.com and compare it to this one, hopefully we see very similar views. Um, I created the front end uh, to, be, to mirror Quizlet's front end. And so this is all design. This is all straight HTML and CSS. We brought in Bootstrap, but I ended up not using Bootstrap pretty much for any of the project. Um, so you'll notice uh, when you go to Quizlet and compare it to mine, so there's some very similar features. If you click on search, your navbar is going to go away and have a search feature here. So if you wanted to search for, uh, let's say, area, we search, it's going to bring up some data sets for that. If I hit the logo, I'm going to go back to the splash page. Any of these links, get started, would have you log in. Uh, same thing, create your own study set. If I go and I close my search bar, go ahead and log in. It's going to send me to my dashboard. And so my dashboard's gonna have my username, it's gonna have a bunch of different information over here. My folders, these are different filters, so if I wanted to filter these, uh, let's say by math, or English, or geometry, I could do that. I could also filter over here if I wanted to, let's say five themes, it's gonna filter that. Once I click on these themes, or click on uh, my study set, it's gonna open it up, and you're gonna have your terms and your definitions. And we, our last feature that we were able to get to was creating a flashcard game. So it's actually gonna open up, and when you hover over the flashcard, it will give you the definition, or excuse me, the term and the definition. And then if I wanna go to the next one, term and definition. Um, I can also create my own study set. So if I go to create up here, I can create a new study set. Uh, let's say JavaScript vocab. And we can say, uh, we'll just make these up just so you can see it. These are beautiful terms and definitions. Let's say I wanted to get rid of one, I could get rid of one. If I wanted to add a card, I can add a separate card. Maybe delete a couple of these. Um, once I hit create, either up there or down here, it's going to now create the set, and you'll notice my term and definition. I can go still play the flashcard game if I wanted to, go to the next one, etc. Log out. And you can see all of our different sets are populated here from our database. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed our Quizlet clone. Like I said, I focused on a React front end. I did do a little of the back end database stuff, um, but my primary role was the React front end and the different views and functionality in those cases.